each person is constantly responding to his or her own environment, including the people that live in it, given that uh, the person isn't sensorily impaired. And whenever two or more people are within sensory access of one another, interpersonal behavior can occur. And an interpersonal act is when one person stimulates the senses of another person and the recipient of that stimulation responds in some way. Even if it's, you know, if someone waves at, at a person and the person who got waved at chooses to ignore the wave and look down, that's still a reaction because he had many alternative ways to respond, but he chose to act as if he didn't respond. So, um, what I want to know is what's going on right now. Would this be considered an interpersonal act? Because even though the only person within sensory access of me is myself at this moment in time, in the future, which is right now for you, but in my, my perception of the future, there's going to be people seeing this and hearing this, which would be considered your present, and you're receiving this information. So there's a delay. Um, would this be considered an interpersonal act, even though I'm totally alone? Uh, so, I don't think the delay itself qualifies this, um, I don't think, sorry, I don't think the, the delay disqualifies this from being considered an interpersonal act, because even if I was right in front of you in real life talking, and you were looking at me, there'd still be a delay from the amount of time it takes what I'm thinking in my head to be transmitted to your brain because every everything you see is essentially just light and light has to travel into your eyes and your brain would just make an image of me and that takes time and then of course the sound is just vibrations that have to travel towards you and that takes time even though it's far less time than it's than it's taking right now for me to film this, upload it, and then any random time in the next day or two, someone will see this.